I grew up in this industry. I know this town. So many of my friends are actors. I know how hard it is to get work. <laughs> and I know how lucky I was to be at the, in the right place at the right time. And had that not happened, my, my life would be drastically different. Leonardo is just a, is, is just very sincere. He's a very sincere young man, and he, uh, 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 he cares deeply. He cares deeply about people. He, com he, com uh, he cares deeply about his friends, and he cares deeply about what he does uh, in the business and, uh, and, and about his craft. Um, there's kind of no joking around with him when it comes to uh, the, the work itself. He's as serious as he possibly can be. I'd, you know, be an actor and be doing well. That's, I mean, I always had fantasies about that. Now that you're becoming more popular, people are really kind of watching you. Does that bother you at all? <laughs> um, well, you know, no, because of course, if you're an actor and everything, or an anyone in the entertainment business, you're going to be watched. I mean, the first wrong move you do is going to be, you know, pushed all over the world, and that's just something that comes along with being in the entertainment business. And if you want to be entertaining, you can't complain about it. So. Thousands of climate scientists agree that global warming is not only the most threatening environmental problem, but one of the greatest challenges facing all of humanity. I'm taking the role of a concerned citizen like everybody else. I think like all of us do, we see that there are dramatic changes happening to our planet. It's, it's hard not to. Certainly in the United States, uh, we are the ones that should set an example for the rest of the world. We are the power, most powerful democracy in the planet, but we're also the, we're the, we're the largest polluters. As an actor, I pretend for a living. I play fictitious characters, often solving fictitious problems. I believe that mankind has looked at climate change in that same way, as if it were a fiction. Clean air and a livable climate are inalienable human rights. And solving this crisis is not a question of politics, it is a question of our own survival. The challenges before us require each and every one of us to take action. We owe this to ourselves, but more importantly, we owe it to future generations who are counting on all of us. If you do not believe in uh, climate change, you do not believe in modern science or empirical truths, and you will be on the wrong side of history. The time is now. It's imperative that we act. And I, I really wanted uh, tonight, uh, I'm, I'm, I feel so overwhelmed with, uh, you know, with gratitude for what happened tonight. But uh, I, I feel there is a ticking clock out there. There is a sense of urgency that we all 
must do something proactive about this issue. not have a candidate who doesn't believe in modern science to be leading our country. Um, climate change is one of the most concerning issues facing all of humanity, and the United States needs to do its part. We should not have people in office that do not believe in, in facts and in truths in modern science uh, that are able to manipulate and risk the entire future of, of this entire generation. I have been long concerned about extinction, about the loss of biodiversity, the disappearance of our fragile, fragile ecosystems all being wiped out by human greed and indifference. So with that, I started my foundation, LDF, 20 years ago to work on these issues. So as the old saying goes, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. The facts are clear, and unless you live in an alternate reality, there is no more time for denial. A carbon-neutral future is the only way we will inherit a planet capable of sustaining life on Earth as we know it.